Hello friends, welcome to day eight of your practice. For today's class, you will need some sort of yoga strap or a belt, which looks like this. And if you don't have one, no worries. You could use something like a regular pants belt or a scarf or a very, very long towel. So just have it nearby. We're gonna start in a seated position, whatever feels best for you. I'm gonna start in a cross-legged seat, sitting on a block, just to elevate my hips, and then rest your hands on your lap and turn your palms up for a moment. And just feel how when you turn your palms up, the fronts of your shoulders start to drop back rather than cave in. And then try to align your chest over your hips. Align the crown of your head over your chest and just let your eyes close or soften, whatever feels best here. Settle into a little bit of stillness. Notice if the body's feeling a little fidgety and sometimes it helps just to let the fidgets out to kind of wiggle around a bit at first. But then eventually commit to being steady, to being still. Focus on your breathing. Start to breathe in and out of the nose. You might start to feel how when you inhale, you can sit up a little bit taller in your seat. Keep that length in your spine as you exhale. Think of plugging your sit bones into the floor below you. And just take a couple more cycles of breath here, trying to steady the attention on the breath. Finding that long, smooth, steady breath in and out of the nose. With your next breath in, bring your hands together in front of your heart in Anjali Mudra. Open your mouth, take a clearing exhale out. And then let your eyes softly flutter open. Release your hands into your lap. If your legs are crossed, just switch the crossing of your legs, so opposite shin or ankle in front. Grab your belt, your strap, whatever you're using. Hold it out in front of you with each hand, much wider than your shoulders with your arms straight. And then bring your attention to your rib cage. And just for a moment, I'll show you, think of knitting your front ribs in towards each other. It's almost like a core setting action. You can also think of moving the front ribs down towards the frontal hip bones. They're gonna wanna lift up and puff out for this next exercise, but try to keep reining the frontal ribs in. As you inhale, send your arms straight up. And as you exhale, send your arms back behind you. And if you can't get your arms behind you without bending your elbows, give yourself more room on the belt. Inhale, go back up. Exhale, lower. And then do that a few more times on your own. Inhale. And exhale. So I like to think of this as flossing out the shoulders. And every time you reach your arms up, your shoulders are lifting. They're moving out and up. Your arms are moving in a position of flexion. When your arms are back behind you, the shoulders, the arms are in a position of extension. We do both positions a lot in yoga classes. We'll be doing all different movements of the shoulders today. I'm just starting to get into any tight and sticky spots. A couple more rounds. If you find that it's easy, try walking your hands in like an inch. An inch really makes a big difference. I like to find that sweet spot where I almost feel like I'm gonna get stuck as my arms go back. And then I try to breathe there. So I'm gonna go a little shorter Notice if the ribs are trying to rise, can you keep them down? We're really trying to isolate the movement to the shoulders and the arms. Everything else is staying still in the body. Okay, last round. As you exhale, lower your arms down in front of you and then you can move the belt to the side and come off whatever you're sitting on if you are. Come into a tabletop position on hands and knees. Bring your shoulders right over your wrists, bring your hips right over your knees, spread out your fingers. So we'll start with some cat cows. As you inhale, draw your heart forward and up, curl your tailbone up and slide the shoulders back. Exhale, round your spine. Push the floor away from you. Feel your shoulders spread across your back. Again, inhale, arch. Open the front body. Let your belly relax. Exhale, reverse. Open the back body. Feel your front ribs lift away from the floor. Now do that a couple more times on your own. And oftentimes when we do cat-cows, 
Our low back does a lot of the movement. For today, try to focus a little more on your upper back, getting your shoulders to move, your upper back to move. That's where we tend to be a little bit more stiff. And then come back towards center in your tabletop. Just turn your fingers out to the sides, then rock side to side, getting into the wrists a little bit. And then turn your fingers back forward, lower your forearms to the mat, and make sure your elbows are right underneath your shoulders. So we're going to play with another movement of the shoulders called protraction and retraction. This is where your shoulder blades are naturally moving on your back. It's a little weird to feel at first if you haven't done it, but start by letting your chest kind of collapse down towards the floor and what you might feel is your shoulders just hiked up towards your ears. You might feel this kind of like caving in feeling of your upper back and now do the opposite. Push the floor away from you and you'll feel your shoulders move away from each other. They're spreading across your back. Now try that a few more times. So sink down, this is called retraction of the shoulders. Push away, your shoulders protract. Try that a couple more times. See if you can keep your front ribs lifting away from the floor, so you're not necessarily going into a back bend as you come into that retraction position. After you've done it a couple of times, we're gonna try it on our hands. Come back to tabletop with shoulders over the wrist. Now try to keep your arms straight as you let your chest sink down. Your shoulders hike up towards your ears and then push the floor away from you. Feel your shoulders spread across the back. Sink down. Notice if your elbows are bending. Can you do this with straight arms and push away? And the answer can be no. So try a few more times on your own. When I first started doing this, I had to move super, super slowly. It's just kind of your body figuring out the feeling. And it might be your shoulders actually moving in this direction in a long time. Take another breath or so. And then walk your knees back a few inches. Come into a tented finger child's pose. So tense your fingertips, melt your hips back towards your he heels, relax your head between the upper arms. Use your fingertips to push the floor forward. Rock your hips back towards the heels. Take a deep breath in through the nose. Take an open mouth clearing breath. Roll up so you're sitting back on your heels. Come to a kneeling position on your shins. Lift your hips, knees about hip bone distance apart. Reach your arms to the sky as you breathe in. Exhale, cactus your elbows out to the side. Interlace fingers behind the head. Let's do right thumb on top. Elbows can go out wide. Can you knit your front ribs towards each other? From here, step your right foot forward, low lunge, knee over the ankle. Ground through the front heel as you bend the front knee. Lengthen your left glute to the floor. Take a breath in. As you exhale, rotate your chest to the right. And then inhale, come back through center. Again, exhale, twist to the right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, twist to the right. And now hold. Keep the right hand behind your head. Bring your left hand to the floor under your left shoulder. Aim your right elbow up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. As you exhale, tap your right elbow towards your left arm. Again, inhale, twist to the right. Exhale, tap, right elbow to left. One more time, inhale, twist, open. Exhale, round and tap. Inhale, twist, open. Now from here, move your left foot and shin a little off to the left so your foot might come off your mat. Stack your right hip over your left. Your right foot's gonna move behind you. So you're in this modified side plank. Bottom hand under the shoulder. Aim your right elbow up towards the ceiling as much as you can. Try not to go into a back bend. Lengthen the tailbone towards your right heel. And then option to stay or float your right foot off the ground. Option to stay or bend your right knee. Bring your right heel towards your bum. And then if you'd like, try to reach for the right foot or ankle with that right hand. If you've got it, press the shin back. Send the chest forward. 
Lengthen the tailbone towards the right heel. Take another breath in. And then exhale, gently release, come back to a tabletop. Shoulders over the wrists, hips over the knees. Turn your fingers all the way back towards your knees, unless that feels too intense, and keep your hands out a little bit. Take a cat-cow, inhale, arch your spine. Exhale, round your spine. Inhale, come back towards center. Exhale, tented child's pose. Walk your hands forward. Tent your fingertips. Rock your hips back towards your heels. Push the floor forward in space. Breathe in. Stay as you exhale. Roll up, sitting back on your heels. Bring your fingertips behind you now, and then take a little back bend. Lift the chest, shrug the shoulders back. Now, if it's hard to reach the floor with your hands, you can do this with hands at low back, chest up. If you're feeling this in the low back, try to lift your pubic bone up towards the navel. One more breath in. Exhale, hands to your thighs, round your spine. Breathe into the back body. Sit up onto your shins. Inhale, reach the arms up. Exhale, cactus your elbows. Bring your hands behind your head. Interlace with left thumb on top this time. Elbows out wide. Front ribs descend down and in. Inhale, step your left foot in front of you. Low lunge. Get the knee over your ankle. Build a solid foundation. Take a breath in. Exhale, turn your chest to the left. Notice I said chest, not gaze. Your gaze can even stay forward if that feels better for the neck. Inhale, come back forward. Exhale, twist to the left. Inhale, come back forward. One more time, exhale to the left. Now keep your left hand where it is. Right hand comes down under the shoulder. Aim your left elbow up towards the ceiling. Breathe in. Exhale, try to tap left elbow towards the right arm. It might touch, it might not, doesn't matter. Inhale, twist open. Exhale, tap. Once more, inhale. Exhale. Inhale, twist to the left. Stay to exhale. Move your right foot and shin a little bit off to the right. Swing your left leg behind you, stack left hip over the right. I like bottom hand an inch or two ahead of the shoulder. Really push the floor away from you. As you try to lean the chest back a bit, notice if you're in a back bend, rein your front ribs in. And then you can stay like this or float your left foot off the ground. Maybe bend the knee, bring your heel towards your bum. Maybe reach for the foot or ankle. Might be there, might not. You never know unless you try. Press the shin back if you've got it. Heart forward. Pubic bone up. Take another breath here. Exhale, slowly release. Come back to your tabletop. All right, walk your hands forward another inch or two. Make sure your hands are shoulder width apart. Wrist creases parallel to the top of your mat. Tuck your toes under. Push back. Down dog. Separate your feet to about hip bone distance apart. Relax your head between the upper arms. Relax the eyes and the jaw. Push into every knuckle, every fingertip to send the hips high up towards the ceiling behind you. As you inhale, rock forward to a plank pose. Exhale, drop to your knees, point your toes. Keep your knees a little behind the hips. Keep your hands exactly where they are. Take a breath in. Exhale, rock your hips back towards your heels. They might touch, they might not. Don't force it. Inhale, rock back forward. Try to keep your arms straight. We're just going to pulse through this. Exhale, shift back. Inhale, shift forward. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, shift forward. Once more like that, rock back. Rock forward. We're going to keep doing this. You can stay with your knees down or we'll do it from down dog. Tuck the toes, lift the hips, rock the hips back, down dog, breathe in, and then rock forward to your plank. Exhale, rock back. Inhale, rock forward, shoulders over the wrist. Let's do one more. Rock back, hips back. Rock forward, breathe in. 
Drop to your knees as you exhale, point your toes, heart forward, slide the shoulders back, take an inhale. We're gonna take a low push up, exhale, bend your elbows, lower just halfway. Inhale, push back up, exhale all the way to the belly. Okay, stretch your legs long and back. Tent your fingertips off to the side, elbows nice and high. Press down through your feet, inhale, peel head, chest, shoulders off the mat. Exhale, dip your right shoulder and look to the left. Inhale, come back through center. Exhale, dip your left shoulder, peak right. Inhale, come back to center. Exhale, lower all the way down. Make a little pillow with your hands and rest your forehead down. I'm gonna keep my head up just so my mic doesn't get too muffled. I'm gonna take a couple of breaths here. Come back to that smooth and steady breath, ideally in and out of the nose. Stretch your legs long and back, big toe straight back, feet about hip bone apart. And then from here, reach your arms back by your sides, palms facing down. Press down through your feet. As you inhale, lift your head, chest and shoulders off the mat for a locust pose. We're gonna keep hands and feet down. Roll the shoulders away from the floor. If that feels really hard to do, like you can't get your chest up or your shoulders to roll back, what can help is tenting your fingertips, taking a micro bend in your elbows, and now see if you can press the shoulder blades into your chest. So this is that feeling similar to retraction when your shoulder blades come in towards each other. Keep the gaze down, back of the neck long. Take another inhale here, lift a little higher, and then rest one cheek to the mat, lower down. Full breath in, full breath out, let it go. Bring your arms out wide to a T. Turn your thumbs up. So you're making a thumbs up side. Keep the gaze down. And now as you inhale, lift just your arms off the ground. Your head is gonna stay down. Press down through your feet. Can you point your thumbs up? So roll them back a little bit. Feel the fronts of the shoulders open. And now inhale, lift head and chest. Keep the gaze slightly down. So we're leading with the chest, not the chin. Aim your thumbs up. Can you lift the arms a little higher? Press down through your feet. You might feel the kneecaps lift, quadriceps are to engage. Keep turning your thumbs up and even back a little bit, trying to roll the shoulders back. Lift the arms a little higher. One more inhale. Exhale, lower your arms by your sides. Rest the opposite cheek to the mat. And stay for a breath. Full breath in. Exhale, let it go. Okay. And now reach your arms forward in front of you. Arms about shoulder width apart. They can be a little wider if that feels better. Thumbs up. Keep the gaze down. In fact, keep your forehead down. Press down through your feet. Lift just your arms off the ground. Your forehead is still down. Point the thumbs up. Try to straighten the arms. Reach the arms forward and more. And then inhale, lift your head off the ground. Press down through the feet. Try to straighten the arms, reach forward. Feel the shoulders lift up. Feel your arms reach higher. Aim the thumbs up. Take another breath here. And then make a little pillow with your hands and rest your forehead down. So we just did arms forward, which is arms in flexion. And arms behind you, arms in extension. And then we did arms out to the side, that lateral position. Take a breath in and just exhale, let that go. Bring your right arm out wide to a T, palm down. I'm gonna move my mic. And then from here, you're gonna roll onto the right side of your body. Try to keep your right shoulder off the ground. So lift it, your head can stay down, but right shoulder lifts away from the floor. You can stagger your legs. You could step that top foot behind you. I tend to like to just stack. And we'll stay for a few breaths here. Keep lifting that right shoulder up. 
And then you might roll further back on the right on the right side. Try not to back bend here, but keep the front ribs in. And now just let your right shoulder come down to the ground. And if you'd like, this is where I like to stagger my legs more, reach your left arm up towards the ceiling, turn your thumb clockwise towards like three o'clock and then all the way to six o'clock. So your palm is facing the wall behind you. And if you'd like, start to reach that left arm behind you. And I always like to just explore different movements, bring that left arm forwards and backwards a little bit until I find that sweet spot that feels a little tight, maybe a little sticky. And then just try to breathe there. And bring your left hand down by your side. Roll into the belly, hands by the low ribs. Bring your left arm out wide to a T. Keep the left shoulder lifted at first. Roll onto the left side. So your head can come down as you roll into your left hip. Walk your left hand more to the left. Lift the shoulder and then breathe. I use my right hand to continue to roll the chest open a little more. Try not to back bend. Oftentimes when the shoulders are tight, the low back likes to overcompensate because the low back has a little more mobility. But instead, can you just notice your patterns? Notice if your front ribs flare out, if the low back overstretches, and instead keep the tailbone lengthening down, the ribs in. And now let your left shoulder come to the ground. And if you'd like, reach the right arm up. You might have to stagger your legs a little more. Turn your right thumb counterclockwise towards six o'clock. And if you'd like, start to sweep that right arm behind you. Move inch by inch. So it's not a rush, it's not a race, but it's more an exploration of what's going on in the right shoulder. Maybe move it around a little bit. I'm just exploring different motions, different points, and wherever it feels the tightest, the stickiest, try staying there a couple more breaths. Start to bring the right hand down by your side. Bring your left hand down by your side and then push up onto all fours. Come into a child's pose, big toes touch, knees just about shoulder width apart and keep your head lifted for a moment. Walk your hands forward a little more, lift the forearms and then thread your left arm under the right arm. You can bring the left side of the head down for a moment. I like to tent my right fingertips and twist a little more to the right. Try to rock your hips back a bit more. Take a deep breath in, stay for the breath out. Walk your left hand back forward, walk your hands forward, lift the forearms, and then thread right arm under the left arm. You can bring the right side of the head down, push down with the left hand, maybe tense your fingertips. On thread, come back to child's pose. Roll up so you're sitting back on your heels. Tent your fingertips behind you. Remember, if you would rather do this with hands at the low back, go for it. Lift the chest, draw the shoulders back. Lengthen your tailbone down so the low back stays long and spacious. And then if you'd like, lift the hips off the heels. Maybe lift the gaze. Take a deep breath in through your nose. Open your mouth, exhale. Hips to the heels, bring your hands to your thighs, round your spine like a cat. And then come back through center.
pause here in the seated position. If you want to come to a cross-legged seat, go for it. Draw the shoulders up, back, and down a couple of times. And then just pause with your shoulders relaxed and sliding back a bit so your collarbones are wide and spacious. If your front ribs are flaring out, move them down and in. Keep this lift in the chest. Bring hands together in front of the heart and lower the chin. Take a deep breath in through your nose, acknowledging your practice. And then exhale gently, let it go. Consider keeping this sense of openness, of spaciousness, keeping it with you for the rest of your day. Thank you so much for practicing with me. I'll see you tomorrow. Om Shanti. Peace.